Hey, it's Dr. Greg with Align Wellness Center here in Northbrook, Illinois. And today I've got one of my awesome team members with me, Sonia. Hello. So Sonia helps us with all of our community outreach. So we go out to local businesses, schools, um, outings and events to help the community know about health. Today we're going to talk about an ergonomic setup. And we're going to do it really how it relates to carpal tunnel. We've been talking about that a lot. So I came back into Sonia's office and there were some things rearranged back here that I was kind of surprised about. So I want to show you what I found, then make some quick suggestions on how we're going to change Sonia's workstation so that her workstation and desk can support her better. If you are someone you know has concerns about their workstation, contact Sonia about having us do a workplace evaluation for you. So when I look at Sonia's desk, I really like the chair that she has. It's got the ability to go up and down. Uh, it's got a great lumbar support. It's got armrests that go up and down and it can fit under her desk. So we got some really good things going here. However, when I look at her desk, uh, I noticed that her monitor is shifted off to the side of where the desk's chair slides under. I also noticed that the keyboard, you know, although it's straight in front to the monitor, it's shifted off as well. So if Sonia were to slide all the way into her desk, she's got to turn her body to wind up working and turn her hands to work on her computer, which winds up being a bit more stressful on her neck that can affect going out to your hands and your arms, as well as it can wind up causing lower back difficulties. So we want to avoid that in any workspace that we're working. So one of the first recommendations that I have about this space for Sonia is that we move the monitor to straight in front of her when she pulls into her desk. So literally, we're just gonna take her monitor and move it right in front of her. We're gonna also take the keyboard and do the same, and then the mouse shift it off to that right side, which most people like to do. When I look at the desk space and the monitor, I look for it to be just the top of it at eye level. So this is really close. We might wanna put a little riser underneath the monitor to give it some elevation. Now, when she's working on the computer, go ahead and do some typing for me, Sonia. Her elbows are bent at 90 degrees, her wrists have a rest on the desk, and her fingers hit the keyboards. That's really important to wind up reducing irritation to the wrist, particularly in that carpal tunnel area. Her shoulders are vertical her, to her ears, and she's really sitting well. You may also notice that she's got a headset right here because she's on the phone a lot. When she's in phone mode or just back here, she puts this on so she doesn't have to constantly crimp with her shoulders. Another concern I have about her desk is where does she put her documents or work stuff that she's working on? So Sonia, where do you put things when you're working on them? Uh, they're usually on my right, I'm right handed. So they're over here, okay. Yeah. So with this changed position on your desk, that'd be pretty tough to do. Or, yes. Okay. So. In realizing that, this is not the best desk for Sonia to be using. If she needs to use any sort of documents outside of what's on her computer, this really isn't gonna support her. So what we've gotta do is look for another desk in the office, and I think we already have one in mind, don't we? We do. And it winds up also being a little bit deeper so that she can wind up having a little bit more distance between her eyes and the screen that can give her some more comfort. Um, those are some big tips for this desk space on how to change it to make it better for the user. Do you think we can do that, Sonia? I do. Awesome. So we may give you an update on it. But if you or someone you know has had difficulty with reoccurring problems, whether it's with carpal tunnel, elbow, shoulder, neck, or upper back, or headaches, and a workspace ergonomic evaluation may be something that's really important for you. If you or someone you know has had problems with that, zip this video over to them. Maybe they could take some tips on what to do or reach out to us and we'll look to coordinate a way to do that for you. Once again, I'm Dr. Greg Gersten with the Line Wellness Center. And Sonia, thank you for doing this with me. Sure. And thank you for letting me be a part of your health.